What's going on everybody, JCSB here, and welcome to episode 24 of season 2 of our Minecraft Let's Play. And guys, I have got a lot planned today. It is going to be a jam-packed episode, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to get a lot done today. I want to be, be very productive, and I actually have a to-do list in front of me on my desk here. And uh, we're just going to get right into things. I'm going to tell you everything we're going to do today. Uh, first, we're going to make some pathways along our island. This has been suggested numerous times, and uh, it will look a lot nicer when we have paths going to the farms and to the house and to the storage room. In addition, we're going to make an enchantment table. That's been asked for a whole bunch of times as well. And we're also going to put some half slabs along our path leading to the skeleton spawner. So uh, as you can see, we've got a lot planned today, and uh, I think we should just get into things right now. Now the first thing I want to do is enchant the items. Now in order to do this, we're going to need to get a diamond pick and grab a couple pieces of obsidian. Uh, because if I'm not mistaken, it takes four pieces of obsidian to make an enchantment table. Uh, so we need to grab a couple of sticks. We'll just take two pieces of planks. And uh, now as it turns night, we're going to sprint down into our mining quarry here. Now, uh, I want to say something right now. This is Monday's episode, and uh, I think this is the first time I'm going to try this out, guys. So, uh, as of now, this is official. If this video gets 75 likes, I'll upload a bonus episode on Tuesday. It'll still be 30 minutes long, and uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. If you guys can manage to get it to 75 likes... Then you will get an, an extra episode on Tuesday. You'll still get Wednesday's episode as well. Uh, but just kind of a bonus incentive uh, to see you guys be active. Now, I, I do want to ask one thing, and I obviously have no control over this. Uh, but, guys, please do not use any like bots. I, I understand that you're trying to help me out, but I really, really don't like uh, when, when people do that. It's happened to me once so far. Uh, luckily, it's only happened one time, but uh, I really don't want, to, want it to happen again. Uh, when it happened the first time, I disabled ratings on the video just to kind of get rid of it. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys just, uh, you know, I get about four or 500 views a video, views an episode. So uh, for sure, 75 of you can hit the thumbs up. Uh, button if you do want an extra episode if you don't then you know you don't have to but uh, there's no need to you know use some sort of bot or anything I, I just really would appreciate it if you guys would do this the legit way uh, you know if you want the extra episode then you know earn it the the correct way so uh, enough for my little ramble there I just I, it really angered me when it happened the first time somebody had put a bot on uh, one of my episodes and uh, the problem was that uh, I just don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. I try very hard to stay within the terms of service and uh, to pretty much do everything correctly uh, because I do hope to get a partnership one day. So that is the reason why I'm, uh, you know, so strict about following the rules. So like I said, if you guys can get 75 likes on this episode, I'll upload a bonus one on Tuesday and... Uh, if not, then, you know, you'll just get your episode Wednesday. So, uh, I had a lot of people, or I mean, I brought this idea up in the last episode, and almost everybody seemed to like it. They all thought it was a great idea. Uh, you guys, uh, somebody had mentioned uh, the person Syndicate, and yes, that is who I got this idea from. What he does is he, uh, if he gets like 10,000 favorites, uh, he uploads another video. Now, obviously, uh... There's two things why, uh, two reasons why I can't do it exactly how he does. First off, uh, I don't even get 10,000 views, so to try to get 10,000 favorites is uh, a kind of a joke. Uh, I'd be happy with five favorites, to be honest with you. And when he gets, uh, when his fans reach that milestone for him, see if there's lava under this. And, of course, there is. Anyways, but when his fans hit the milestone, he does another episode that very same day. But uh, the difference between me and Syndicate, guys, is that Syndicate actually does YouTube as a full-time job, for those of you who didn't know. Uh, so, he obviously uh, has the time 
to do so um, to you know upload two videos a day three videos a day if he needs to so uh, but I think that you guys now have a chance to get a video every day of the week now there will be certain videos where I won't do it because you know there are gonna be times when I'm packed with homework or I have you know three tests to study for or something like that but uh, I'm gonna try to do it as much as possible because uh, I, I, last episode you guys hit 55 thumbs up and that's without me even asking so I know it's possible and I know there are some of you who really want to see more videos and uh, I think this is a pretty fair compromise now uh, I'm pretty sure we only need four pieces of obsidian so let me grab one more yeah we need three along the base and then one in the middle then two diamonds and one book now I, I did look up how to craft this I had actually I've actually never crafted an enchantment table to be honest not in any off-camera worlds or obviously this world so uh, this is a first for me now I do know a bit about enchantment tables though I know that you want to put them by a lot of bookcases uh, a lot of bookshelves that way uh, what you would call it it gives you higher enchantment numbers that way you can get better uh, you know spells or whatever on your tools and your armor so we will have to set up a little room for it but uh, that's not going to be too difficult to be honest anyways let's make our way back over to the uh, mining quarry over here uh oh whoo that scared me Thank God he fell into the lava. He probably would have killed me. Uh-oh, there's another one. Oh, where are they coming from? Run, dropping skeletons. Oh my goodness, we got uh, aerial attacks coming on us. Oh, guys, my heart's racing now. That actually really did scare me. Uh, I always say that the sound of skeleton shooting you when you're not expecting it is terrifying, and it really is. Uh, I talked to the mind fiend about it, but I was realizing that now that they made the new shooting sound for the bow and arrow a lot quieter uh, it doesn't scare you as much because obviously uh, the old sound was really loud and uh, it would scare the heck out of me but this new sound isn't as terrifying but when you've got uh, skeletons jumping from above you like they just were that's still pretty scary so um, now I purposely left two diamonds up here well I didn't do it purposely last episode but I left them up here I was gonna bring them down but then I realized that we wanted an enchantment table uh, so I decided to leave them we're also going to need to make a book uh, let me see if I remember how to do that alright so I need paper and then how do I make a book there we go I, I wasn't exactly sure I didn't remember alright guys well without further ado let's see if I remember how to craft this so I believe you put the diamonds here and then voila it's an enchantment table now I don't know if you can pick these things back up once you put them down so I'm not gonna place it until we have our area designated uh, now as for our area I was thinking we'd make it under our bedroom uh, let me go over here and see if we have any room for an enchantment table Alright, so I was thinking we could just go down another level with our ladders here. I don't see why that would be too much of a problem. The, the enchantment room only has to be two blocks tall, I believe. So if this is the floor, then we only have to go down... Let's see. We really only have to go down to here, to be honest. But uh, we'll go down one more. Oh, I probably should have brought ladders. That's okay. Uh, we'll get ladders later. So let me see how I'm going to exactly make this room. Now, unfortunately, uh, I have this room here set up so it's two block wide, two blocks wide. And seeing how the enchantment table is only one, the room is going to look a bit weird. So what we're going to do is uh, turn it to the right here just a bit, and we're going to dig out kind of a weird-looking room here, guys. I'm not going to lie, but uh, in essential, essentially, we need it to be. Hmm, let me let me do a little bit of thinking here. All right, so I guess what we can do is have the enchantment table. We'll move all this back one more. I'm just trying to plan out how we're going to do this. All 
we can have the enchantment table right here and then we'll put bookcases all around it hmm I guess what we're gonna do is put the enchantment table right here now uh, there's some iron we're gonna have to grab that because I don't leave any iron behind that is a no-no <laughs> All right, so let's build our way back up here. I guess we'll just replace this floor with cobble for right now. We'll eventually probably replace it with uh, wooden planks. Uh, but let's just get this going real quick. Let me build some of this out. Hmm. You know what, guys? Uh, second thought. I don't think I'm going to build the enchantment table down here. I know that's... Uh, I just said I was going to, and now I'm kind of deciding against it. But uh, I don't like the way that room is setting up, and it's going to bug me if I decide to keep it. So I think we're going to move it. Uh, I know that was kind of a bit of a waste of time, but uh, I'll make I'll still make sure we get everything done no matter how long the episode is. So uh, there's no need to worry about that. But yeah, I wasn't really, I guess, feeling that area, <laughs> so to say. Uh, it wasn't really working for me. So, uh, we are going to move to a different location. I guess we're going to make the enchantment table out here. Or perhaps we can make it down under our storage room. Um, hmm, I kind of actually have a pretty cool idea for my enchantment table. Yeah, I got my own idea. I'm doing it my own way. <laughs> so what we're going to do is over here, uh, we're going to dig a three, let's see. Alright, we're going to start off by digging, I guess, a 5x5 five five box out that's too deep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, that's good. Now, this might be too big, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, if it is, you know, we'll just fill it in. It's really no big deal. Alright, let me think. Oh, no, that'll that'll be perfect, so... Uh, we're going to build ourselves up here. Now we need to make a whole bunch of bookcases. Now, before we do that, I'm actually going to come over here and fill in this floor with wooden planks. Uh, that'll just make it look a bit more official and a bit nicer. There we go. So uh, let's get back out again. Now, the enchantment table is going to go right here in the middle, so... Let me think. Yeah, I can place it now. There we go. Ooh, enchantment. <laughs> it's, it's so new to me. I've never actually uh, built an enchantment table. So what we're going to need to do now is make up a whole bunch of bookcases. Now, I don't have any... Oh, I actually do have three left over. So that's, that's good. A lot more than I thought I had. Let's grab some wooden planks. Now, we're going to make a ton of paper. Now, I think it's made like this. I just made a book. I don't know why uh, I'm having so much difficulty remembering. But there, that's 32 books. Now, uh, as for making a bookshelf, let's see how we do that. I believe it's actually along the bottom here, like this. Uh, let me see if I'm right. Oh, nice. I am right. So, we got some more bookcases. Uh, let's see how much this is. I don't think it's going to be enough, but we can always make some more. Now, what you want to do is just line the walls in bookcases like this. And as you can see, it starts pulling letters. Uh, it's kind of creepy looking. The letters are being pulled from the bookcases. Now, I don't think we need the bookcases in these corner pieces, but uh, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. So... I'm not really worried about wasting a couple of bookcases. I don't have any other use for them, and it's it's not like you can get them back or anything. So uh, it's really no big deal. All right, let's see if we can make a couple of more. Ah, uh, wrong way. There we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> All right, so let's make those. I'm actually really excited because uh, this is, like I said, my first time ever making an enchantment table, and to be able to experience it uh, on camera right from the beginning with you guys. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm really excited about this episode. There we go. Now, I'm not exactly sure if we're going to have enough uh, to finish up the thing, but I do have a lot of reeds growing around my island, so we'll just go harvest some of them if we need more. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more, that's for sure, but like I said, we've got more reeds hanging around that we can definitely go use. Let's continue to fill this in. 
Now, we're almost done. We need one, two, three, four, five more. That's not too bad. So, let's run around here. I actually want to eat some food real quick. That nasty food animation sound. And uh, let's just go and simply uh, knock off the, two, the top two blocks of all of our reeds here. And they all fall in the water. That's awesome. And now we're going to make a detour past our noisy farm animals. What's going on, guys? Whoa, I got three yellow sheep now. That is awesome. They all grew in. What's up, pigs? Hey, chickens. Oh, my goodness gracious. That is a lot of eggs. <laughs> Six eggs. Holy moly. Excuse me. Move. There we go. So let's knock off the blocks of... And, oh, I guess that one wasn't able to stay there. All right, now let's get these. Now I'm hoping with all the reeds that we have growing around the island that this will be enough to finish off our uh, little enchantment table setup. So uh, if not, then you know I can finish it off camera. But uh, regardless, you know uh, it's still gonna work pretty well. And that design is not finished. Once I get the bookcases in, I actually. I have one more thing that I want to do with it uh, to make it a bit more safe, so we're going to do that as well. Alright guys, so now we've got a whole bunch of reeds. And we're just going to simply make these into bookcases again. Uh, nothing new, except I'm still putting them the wrong way. <laughs> Let's see if we can level this out a bit. Alright, that's fair enough. we got a lot there. Now these go vertical. And finally, let's see how many more bookcases we can make. I'm hoping we can at least make five of them. Oh yeah, we can definitely make five of them, if not more. There's five. Now, I, I'm, I'm hoping that's the right number because I did count. Oh no, we actually need ten because we have to stack them too high. And I don't think we're going to have enough for five more. That's a bummer. We were actually pretty close. Yeah, there's enough for eight and we need ten. Oh no. Uh, well, I don't think it's the biggest deal. Maybe we can just take some of those reeds, to be honest. Oh, cool. It's just the corner piece that's left over. You know what? Uh, I'm not going to... I'll fill this corner piece in with wooden planks. I don't think it really affects it that much. If it does, uh, oh well, I guess. <laughs> now, we're going to unfortunately have to let that dirt despawn because I don't plan on going back down there anytime soon because I can access it from here. But... Uh, let me clear out my inventory, and then we'll use it on this diamond pick. I guess that's a pretty good uh, candidate for our first test with the enchantment table. Now, I'm hoping it works really well, seeing how I have so many bookcases around it. It should work great uh, if enchantment is the same way it was in the pre-releases when I first saw it on some YouTube videos. Hopefully it will be. I don't see why it would have changed that much. So, uh, we'll see how things go. Let me just put these wooden planks away. And now I've got these extra books that I don't need. Where should they go? I need like a miscellaneous. Here we go. They'll just go up here. Sticks. Let's put the reeds away. We're actually out of reeds now. So we're going to have to harvest, start harvesting them again. Alright, now I'm level 3 XP. Let's see what that does. Ooh, level 34. That's not bad. Oh, I can't get it. Okay, so apparently I need a lot more XP. Uh, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> I didn't think that one through. So I think what we're going to have to do now is change our uh, skeleton spawner into a, an XP farm. I think we can actually run over there and probably get a bunch of XP now because even though it's not set up for an animal or for an XP farm, I think... Uh, seeing how their feet still going to be exposed, I can actually kill them. I'll probably run through this iron sword, but uh, it'll be worth it to get a special glowing diamond pickaxe. 
Uh, so let's see how things go here. Um, let me come down here. What I'm going to do is actually, for now, block this off. And we're going to wait for a couple of these guys to spawn in here. And then we're going to start smacking them with our sword, uh, basically. I'm not sure if I'll be able to hit them, but uh, I'm hoping I will be able to. Here they come. Oh, there's one. Can I get it? Oh, yeah. Oh, but then he starts floating. What's up with that? Yeah, they start kind of floating once I hit them. That's not good. Alright, I got an idea. Alright, I, I actually I actually have an idea, guys. Um, what I'm going to do... Is... Hey... That wasn't cool. What I'm going to actually do is... Uh, believe it or not, I'm going to remove this drowning water source. And the reason for that is because then they won't be able to swim up and I'll just be able to smack them. Now, obviously, I still need to remove these blocks back here. So they can still fall. But, um... Other than that, this should work, I'm hoping. Uh, let's give it a test run. Yeah, see, now they just kind of fall down here. And I can just go like this. And look at all that XP. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> We're already up to level 4. Alright, so uh, not the most conventional way to do things, but uh, nonetheless, it still should work. Come on, let me hit you. Ah. Alright, and I actually have an idea on how we can still get the mob drops that are there. Uh, I have actually, I think I actually know a way to do this, so uh, let me run back up to the top here. I'm kind of getting distracted by trying to get all that XP, and this episode is going to probably end up running a lot longer than I thought, but that'll be my way of rewarding you for getting 55 likes on yesterday's video, or on Friday's video, rather. Uh, it was really cool because it got 55 thumbs up and absolutely no thumbs down, and uh, that's awesome. Like I always say, the thumbs down really do not bother me at all. Uh, the thing that bothers me is when people thumbs down the video and then don't tell you what they didn't like. Uh, because then there's uh, basically no way for you to improve. And, uh, you know, if you, don't, if you don't like someone's video, guys, tell them why. Some of them might get mad at you and block you. I won't do that. I've actually had uh, a couple people tell me why they don't like my videos. And I've actually been able to improve from their constructive criticism. And yes, I have had people just be uh, straight up jerks in other cases and just basically tell me that uh, my videos suck. And, you know, that's their opinion. Uh, if they don't want to help me get any better by giving me real uh, constructive criticism, that's fine, you know. And, uh, I, you know, more power to them, I guess. I don't know. Uh, if, if they don't like my videos, I'm certainly not going to be mad at them for that. But what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna put the water streams here what that does is makes it so I still get the items but then the uh, the skeletons can't swim up so uh, I'm hoping that'll be a bit better let's do that And now I can't get up there. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, so now we can just go like this. Now I am going to run out of this sword rather quickly. And I'm still going to block this water off because I'm tired of getting pushed back so far. 
let's see, we're already level 7. Now, I don't really know how enchanting works, and what that means is that I don't know if I need to get up to level 29 to be able to use that much XP. If that's the case, then uh, we're going to have a bit of trouble because I can't get that high up, I don't think. Come on, let me hit you. Arr. Come on. Alright, so uh, we're getting there when it comes to XP. I, I, we're at level 7 now. Uh, let me go back to the in, uh, the XP, or the enchanter, the enchantment table, whatever you want to call it. I really don't know. Um, but I'm going to see if uh, that's the case, that we really need 29 to be able to level it up. Because uh, if so, then we are going to be in for a ride, and I'll have to get all that XP off camera, because I don't want to put you guys through that. Uh, that would be very, very boring. But um, uh, let's see if that is the case. And like I said, if it is, I'll just sit at that skeleton spawner off camera. Whoopsies, I fell down again. Dang it. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, I mean, I can't even get any of these. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Let's see what if I do it with an iron. Wow, I am getting some high numbers. I know 41 is a pretty high number, but I think I have to be XP level 41. And uh, that's going to take quite a long time. I can't believe uh, that I actually have to get that many XP levels. That shows how much I know about enchantment. But um, oh, we're also going to have to fix that up. I might as well just... Uh, sweep it under the rug. Nobody saw that. <laughs> but, like I said, I will sit in the skeleton spawner off camera, guys. Uh, it's not the most enjoyable thing to do, but if it means that we can get some cool diamond tools, then uh, it's worth it. If we can get some armor and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, I do want to do one last thing to finish up the, f uh, the enchantment table here. Because it's out in the open like this, I don't want any mobs or creepers falling in it and blowing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to surround it in fence posts. Uh, except for right there, obviously. I'm going to mess up. But I'm going to surround it in fence posts. And then just put a gate leaving one opening to it. That way we can you know, still access the uh, table itself. So let's do this. And then what we're going to do is just leave a spot right here that we can, like I said, access it and actually go inside. So let's grab uh, a fence here. I don't think I have any. Yeah, I'm going to have to make one. So how do I do that? <laughs> let's go like this. I believe a fence is like this. It's probably the opposite way. Oh, no, there we go. We got one. All right, so let's place one here. Nice. And now we're going to go and do the thing that we do with all of our fences and put torches out on the corners. And there we go. So now our enchantment table is completely done. It's obviously completely functional. Uh, the only thing we're lacking is some XP. And uh, that is pretty difficult to come by, but uh, we'll get it done. No worries. And uh, now for the next thing that we're supposed to be finishing up in one minute. No, this episode's definitely going to go a bit longer. Uh, but that's definitely okay. Uh, you guys deserve it. And besides, it's Sunday morning, so it's not like I've got really that much schoolwork to do or anything like that. All right, let me just continue putting all this stuff away, and then we're going to move on to the half stone pro the half slab project. Alright, so luckily we already have a ton of half slabs made up. Now I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be enough. So what we're going to do is grab some more cobblestone and uh, make up a couple more of them. Now uh, I plan on alternating the half slabs and full on cobblestone blocks every other block. I did that with my tree farm on the last my last season of my Let's Play World. Uh, back on my second base and it ended up looking pretty nice and the thing that's good about alternating between cobblestone blocks and half slabs is that you can still put torches on the full cobblestone blocks so uh, that's the benefits of doing it that way and uh, you know it's just I guess the way we're going to really do things so 
Uh, let me take all these torches off real quick because uh, it's just going to be difficult to have to remove them as I'm placing down. So I want the corners to be a full cobblestone block. I'm not exactly sure if that'll work, but uh, the thing is three wide, so it should hopefully work. Let's see. Up, oh, already messed that one up. Let's put that here. Oh, it doesn't work. That's that's a bummer. <laughs> oh no, it does. Just kidding. <laughs> wow, I, I really didn't think it was gonna work, but it actually does. So that's okay. There we go. And then what we do, like I said, is we place uh, torches on the cobblestone. Now I'm only gonna place them every other cobblestone block because having them uh, every single cobblestone block would really make the place a bit too bright and uh, to be honest we really don't need that much light uh, so let's continue to fill this in and then we're gonna skip one and put a torch let's see put that there this one's got a torch on it and I already think it's looking better uh, but let's continue to do this we're just gonna alternate cobblestone blocks here uh, just get the job done quick and easy And right here. And we keep having to remove those torches. That's why I was trying to remove them all in the beginning. But that's okay. Let's finish this. And perfect. Look at that. It ends right at the end of our pathway. That actually really works out nicely. So uh, I guess we're doing something right here with this pathway. Uh, it does look nice. It might look a bit out of place with the rest of our island. I hope it doesn't. It seems a bit castle-y, uh, if that's a word. It, it kind of castle-like, uh, this whole wall setup. But uh, I think it looks pretty nice. Tell me what you guys think. If it does end up looking too much like a castle, then I probably will uh, just make it all half slabs, maybe. But hopefully it'll end up being all right. And this is going to bug me right here because... Uh, these are going to be different. Uh, what I mean is that these cobblestone blocks aren't going to line up perfectly. And that's really going to bug me. So what I think we're going to do is, unfortunately, we're going to have to put two cobblestone blocks right next to each other. And then continue to alternate it down the way. Yes, it's not perfectly symmetrical now, but uh, it will make it look a lot nicer in the end. Because uh, we want these... We don't want that there. Uh, we want these two blocks right here at the end to meet up perfectly. And if they didn't, it would look really, really weird. So uh, it is a good thing that we did that, even though uh, it is a bit now, uh, you know, not completely symmetrical, not completely correct. But uh, it's really okay. I don't think it's that big of a deal. So now all we have to do is run in with our half slabs and place them in the remaining spots. Move all the torches as we go. Alright, now let's run along and do the next side real quick. Now luckily I've already removed all the torches from this side, so it'll be a lot quicker and a lot easier. And then simply from here, what we do is we go and we place the torches. Every other cobblestone block, not there. <laughs> every other cobblestone block let's follow our own directions that might help and there we go that ends there now I'm assuming that the torch setup is gonna be messed up as well so we're gonna line that up uh, right from the start here even if it looks a bit weird so that's gonna go there that's gonna go there that's gonna go there yep it does look a bit weird but it's really okay so, in essential guy, uh, essentially, that's our finished, uh, that's our finished pathway. How, how do you guys think it looks? I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna do torches on this side or something. What am I thinking? <laughs> right, let's finish that off. Uh, but basically, guys, our little pathway here is completely finished. Now, uh, just for some touch, I guess we can put some torches there, and we can remove this one and this one. But like I said, tell me what you think, guys, of our pathway to our skeleton spawner. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, you know, it's lit up enough to keep mobs from spawning, and it's a lot easier than swimming over. We just simply, you know, go along this little pathway here, follow the red brick road, 
And uh, we can get to our skeleton spawner, which is actually going to be eventually turned into an XP farm, or an XP spawner, whatever you want to call it, because, yeah, we're in some definite need of some XP right now. And, uh, you know, I guess we should have done things in a different order. We should have built an XP farm and then built an enchantment table. But at least now we have it. I think it's a nice little addition to that corner over there. I think it looks pretty nice. And we're at 35 minutes, and I still have not made the pathways... Oh, boy. Hmm. Yeah, I guess... Hmm. I'm, d I'm deciding whether or not we have enough time to build the pathways this episode. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure what I want to build the pathways out of. That's the problem. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to build the pathways next episode... I promise you they will be built next episode. I know I said I was going to do them this episode. But what I want is I want you guys in the comments please to tell me what materials that I am supposed that you guys want me to make the uh, pathways out of. Should I do wood and cobblestone or smooth stone and stone bricks? Please let me know what I should use for the materials to build the, the, the pathways throughout our island. Because I'm thinking of having... Uh, a pathway come from the bridge over to the farms or to the animal pens over to the crop farm over to the pathway to our skeleton spawner then again over to the uh, mining quarry then back over to our house over to our XP farm and then over to our storage room finally and that will connect back to our staircase so that is my ground plans uh, my blueprints for our pathways. I did want to start in this episode, but unfortunately we're running out of time. I'm already over 40 minutes, and these videos take forever uh, to process and things like that. So I will do them next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed episode 24 of our Minecraft Let's Play. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. And like I said, guys, 75 episodes or 75 likes on this episode equals an episode on Tuesday. So uh, that is something to think about. You know, hit the thumbs up button if you'd like to see an extra episode. And uh, feel free to leave as many comments as you want. And have a great day, everyone. I'll see you all later, and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace.